it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here with another video, and today we are back on Clover Creek. I just want to make sure, okay. Alright, um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is where we need to be. Okay, so, uh, as I had said in the last episode I would do, I finished off this section of field. So, got that. Uh, we got 18,475 liters of corn off that little section, because uh, that's what's in the truck. Um... Yeah, so, uh, I'm hoping this video isn't, uh, late today, uh, it's 4.15 right now as I'm recording this, and, um, yeah, uh, one thing I'm doing is I re-downloaded Farm Sim 13 and a whole bunch of mods and stuff, and I'm thinking about doing, like, a, you know, throwback to FS13 series, and uh, I'm going to let you guys decide on what map. Uh, it's either going to be MAFM or Modern American Farming Map version 1, MAFM version 2, um, or yeah, either Modern American Farming Map version 1 or version 2. So you guys let me know. Um, you know I still got a bunch of stuff to get set up for it. Uh, you know, I got to get the game, you know, finish downloading the game. Uh, and then, you know, finish doing all the mods, you know, extracting whatever needs to be and um, gain everything in the mods folder and all that good stuff. So, still need to work on all that yet, but... But, uh, yeah. So yeah, like I said, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, be kind of neat to do. So yeah, you guys let me know down in the comments below uh, which version of the Modern American Farming Map you would like to see me play on. Uh, version 1 or version 2. They're both really, really nice maps, so I am fine with either one. I don't have quite all of the same mods that I used to have in 13, but uh, I did manage to find quite a few. Um, I like any of the private ones I had that I didn't have saved in my Dropbox I don't have anymore. Uh, I fired up my old computer and looked on there, and uh, I had already deleted everything off of that one, so I don't have my mods from there. So I just went through uh, FSUK, American Eagles Modding, LS 2013 mod hoster and uh, a little bit of mod hub and download a whole bunch of mods so this field is a nice and long one so I said this in my uh, American truck sim video that I did yesterday uh, I had tested the beef on this map, and uh, we're definitely not doing it. I bought a hundred hundred head of beef, took them to the beef farm, and then I chopped a few few loads of corn, made some silage. Then I put I bought two John Deere uh, W260 wind rowers with swather headers and put one on course play on the alfalfa field and one on course play on the wheat field and got them swathing those and let them swath for a little while and then I bought two tractors and the biggest two of the biggest in-game 
um, forage wagon and picked up three loads, four loads of each trailer and then I got a feed truck and a payloader and fed, got the animals up to 100% productivity and then uh, got 30 of them which was a full load of the one trailer that I wanted to use and then um, ugh. and then uh, I hauled them to the sale barn and from those 30 uh, I got five dollars so definitely not worth doing um, okay <laughs> all right and we're back okay had to take a phone call there yes yeah, so anyway as I was saying uh, you know I only got five bucks from that 30 head of beef that I sold so it's definitely not worth getting into um, dairy on the other hand we will get into that I will do because that'll be actually worth the money um, but yeah, it kind of sucks that beef is only a dollar a ton I don't know what uh, what the deal is with it being like that Definitely be glad to be done with harvest. Getting tired of this combine right now. Oh, and another thing I found um, I cannot plant sorghum on this map. Uh, it's on the map, but no planter will plant it. I've had other maps that have had sorghum on them before, and I can plant just fine. So I don't know what the deal is with this map. Uh, I asked in a group that I'm in, and None of those guys could plant it either, so not sure what the deal is, but so we won't be doing uh, won't be doing that. So we'll maybe put in some wheat or something uh, instead of you know where we were gonna put sorghum. Chop straw is going farther than the header. It's kind of odd. So 
already 40% full, so that's actually it's doing fairly well. It is also pretty long passes, so... How much corn do we have? Oh, we haven't unloaded once. Okay. So I think that 18,000, that's not all from that first, or from that one section, I don't think. I can't remember if I unloaded at all on that top part of that field or not. A lot of corn in this field. So it would probably be a lot more realistic to just do a headland, but come on, get off GPS. But uh, I'm not worried about it quite yet. I'll do it when we get closer to the trees, and I'll do a little headland on this end, but for the road, uh, it's not a big deal. Okay, uh, I need to pause again really quick. I'll be right back. Okay. That'll be the final pause. I said I have a wisdom tooth that's trying to poke through and it's very painful. So I, didn't, I went and took some Tylenol to help with that. It's been driving me crazy. Looks like it would open in real life. This little spot here looks like something would open because it was like hinges almost. Turn it down a bit. So 
So once we reach the end of the field, uh, what I've been doing is just using follow me mod for the grain cart. So that's what we're going to do. We'll get down to the end here, bring the grain cart over, and then we can uh, unload on the go a little bit as we go back up. Yeah, was, I've been kind of sitting there going through the uh, gallery on American Eagles modding. I went through like the FS2015 truck section and now I've been working on the 2013 truck section. And just, you know, kind of made me think, you know, I think I'm going to play 13 again a little. And I was like, you know, maybe it'd be kind of cool to do like a throwback to FS13 series. And so, figured I'd let you guys decide on the map. Uh... The modern American farming maps are about the best maps that I've had for 13. Uh, Idaho was probably like the third best, I'll say, because you know the other ones are first and second best. Um, Idaho was probably the second best, and then it, it was kind of everywhere after that. <clears throat> and uh, I did I did download the Idaho, but uh, I don't really want to do a series on that. That one's been really overplayed. Uh, Modern American Farming Map version 1 has been done a lot on YouTube as well. Uh, version 2 really hasn't been done. Uh, I can't remember if I did video of it or not. Back when I was you know, really into 13 when that was all I played. I can't remember if I did a series or not on that one. I probably did, and I don't remember it or something. Who knows? So we're gonna hop in this guy. Put that in. Don't need it out right now. Now we can put our duels on again, I guess. Now that uh, we're not using the draper. Now we're going to have to go to combine a little bit. In order to get a trail. up perfect so we'll uh, unload on oops that was the wrong button the wrong button. I want to go control shift. There we go. him sit there like that for a while so I'll have to of course readjust it but that's all right that can be done easily
So we'll do, uh, once we come back up, then we'll open this up a couple passes. Video should be up on time. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Because it's 4:50 right now, so we got another eight minutes. That'll be just about five. It'll take about a half hour to edit. Well, for it to export, I guess. Uh, so that'll be about 5:30. Yeah, it might be a little bit late. Hopefully, it's no more than a half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, late but uh, I left left this morning and then came back a little before lunch and then um, I left after lunch and came back about three and then I downloaded all the mods down uh, got FS 13 started on downloading and then uh, then I started recording so So yeah, then once uh, once I'm done recording this video, uh, well, between this episode and the next episode on this map, uh, I'll finish off this section of field and do most of that other section, so that way the next video will finish off harvest. Uh, and then... <clears throat> and then, uh, not the next video, but the video after, we'll be able to start on field work. All of our equipment is in the 30% area. Grain cart is 30, combine's 31, trucks 35. <laughs> it's definitely kind of boring doing this because it's just up and down, up and down. Uh, we don't fill very fast, so we don't have to do the grain cart much and kind of boring but hopefully next season uh, everything will be running pretty good it should hopefully provided that uh, I get all the proper <coughs> soil management steps applied One thing I don't like about this headset is the earmuffs. They're a lot bigger, but they're still pretty nice. Which reminds me, I need to put... <coughs> take some pictures of my old headset and another old one that I had bought in too. I had bought in a different Turtle Beach headset at one point. Um, but it, it didn't work. 
like I had hoped it would. And so I just put it in my closet and never did anything with it. So I think I'm going to post them on the local for sale page. See if anybody in the area is going to buy them and get rid of them. So we got about enough time left to get down to the end and maybe do both the headlands. That's about it. So I am going to work on a new uh, intro fairly soon. I hope um, one that's a little nicer uh, I want to like what I want to do with the intro is I want to put in like some shots from you know, like a 164 scale farm video some shots from my FS 15 video from a 13 video since I'll start doing that a little more uh, from an ATS video and then some you know like a little snippet of some real life stuff as well um, Maybe uh, maybe the next time I'm at the farm, if I ride in the feeder tractor, I can get some get some good footage of that. I definitely would like to buy a GoPro, but uh, I don't have the money for it right now. I have to buy some other stuff. I should maybe see. I do have a camera it's not the greatest thing in the world but it would probably work uh, but usually whenever I try to use it I always end up like it doesn't record very long uh, it always like the battery it says that the battery is dead like you know within a little bit of me starting so that's why I really don't use it much um, it's an okay it's an okay camera quality wise um, you know it's not the best it's not the worst uh, it is pretty you know pretty decent though but But yeah, just, you know, like, I can put brand new batteries in it and try recording a video and within, like, a minute or two it says battery exhausted. So that's, that's annoying. So let's swing around here and get uh, these little pieces that I missed. There we go, now we got some turning room around these trees. <clears throat> Alright, so I think the timer, yep, it's pretty much done, so let's go like that. Alrighty guys, uh, that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you very much for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.